सो वट इज़ गुड गाइज अदनान हियर एंड इट्स हैपन अ बिट लेट दैन आई एक्सपेक्टेड बट येस फॉर श्योर बी होल्ड एंड वर्ड ओरियो ऑन द ओरिजिनल फ्लैगशिप किलर दी वन प्लस वन बिफोर आई बिगिन अ गुड थिंग टू ऑलवेज नोट इज दैट दी सुपर अर्ली बिल्ड आर नेवर गोइंग टू फिल योर एक्सपेक्टेशन अप बट सरप्राइजिंगली इनफ दिस ए ओ एस पी बिल्ड फॉर दी वन प्लस वन इज फार बेटर दैन एनी अदर बिल्ड फॉर एनी अदर फोन दैट हैव बिन रिलीज दस फार टू परफेक्टली रिव्यू दिस रॉम आई हैव डिवाइडेड द फॉलोइंग वीडियो इन टू वॉट वर्क वॉट डज एंड एंड फ्यू अदर एप कैटेगरीज This ROM has basically got all the core functionalities working flawlessly. Things like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular connectivity, GPS, hotspot and even NFC all work just fine. Another piece of surprise to me was every single sensor, be it the gyroscope or proximity, are in working condition. In the newer builds, camera and camcorder function too. So apps like Snapchat and Instagram are no longer a decidedly deal-breaking consideration for me. Google Play services also do work, but only with the correct G apps package, which I've linked down below with the ROM and all the instructions that follow. There is very little with the ROM that doesn't work and in my 1 month's worth of usage I found that both the hardware and software keys are enabled by default since some encoding thing doesn't play along. You could disable either of the two by a simple recovery flash but it's my duty to report the things that don't work right out of the box. Like said it previously getting a G apps package to work with the ROM is a pretty tedious task but once you go through the tiny hurdles what you get in return is a very bug free experience indeed. I've also found the preloaded modems not working out for me and flashing a custom firmware does solve the issue just fine. Surprisingly the ROM has quite a lot of the Oreo specific options and features enabled by default. The launcher you get out of the box is launcher 3 and everything including icon shapes work just minus the Google Now integration to the left and also notification dots. Picture in picture mode works flawlessly although you do need a YouTube Red subscription to get it working but for external players the PIP mode never fails to disappoint. Bonus points for one plus specific gestures and the dose pulse features as well like just the convenience of waving your hand over the display and it waking up 100% of the times is just amazing. There's also the system UI tuner allowing you a ton of customizability like being able to add a custom button to your navigation bar like I did for a PIP trigger. Hands down my favorite feature from the ROM is the night light toggle in the quick settings which works better than ever. The last category I'd like to cover in this review is just the pleasure of using the ROM not as a custom one but a close to stock Android and Oreo feel since this is AOSP we are talking about there are pretty much no extra add-ons and I totally respect that just the fact that Oreo runs so smoothly on a pretty brushed off 3 year old smartphone is great news the white accents minimal layout and smart features just make me not want to switch back to new good as of now Battery life I got with the stock kernel was rather amazing easily up to 4 hours of screen on time and the performance was never choppy I totally love the new way of installing APK files since the progress bar actually gives you an indicator of the progress instead of just running infinitely I was actually in a gracious position to test out the ROM and live through its development from scratch and let me tell you the immense work of the developers that has gone through one zip file over and over and over again should be appreciated As of now this is daily driver material there i said it if you truly desire the oreo experience just flash this right away without a second thought and thank me later well that's been it thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next episode